This is some problems in section 2.1 and uh, we're going to jump all the way down to 23 through 26 where it says divide the numerator and the denominator of each of the following fractions by 2. So simple enough, we're just going to write 10 over 12 for example and they want us to divide the numerator by 2 and the denominator by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5, 12 divided by 2 is 6. So all we're doing by doing that is reducing 10 twelfths to 5 6. And as long as we divide the top number and the bottom number by the same number, we're writing an equivalent fraction over here. If we were to multiply the two by the same number, um, if we were to multiply 10 times 2 and 12 times 2, we would get 20 over 24, which is also an equivalent fraction to 10 twelfths and to 5 6. So as long as we do the same thing when it comes to multiplying and dividing, multiply by the same number, divide by the same number, we're going to get equivalent fractions, again, that are going to look different, but they're still going to be equivalent. Now look down 31 to 34. It says write each of the following fractions as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 6. So see what they've got with 1 half. They want to make it a denominator of 6. So they, you have to figure out how do you get from a 2 to a 6. Well you multiply the 2 by 3 and you get 6. Which means you multiply the top number 1 by 3 and you get 3. So therefore, these two are equivalent fractions. Now when you go the other way, when you take something like 55 over 66, and in this case you want a denominator of 6, we went from a large number to a small, which means we have to divide. So what do we divide 66 by in order to get 6? Well, in this case, we're going to divide by 11. 66 divided by 11 is 6. And the top number is 55. We're going to have to divide that by 11, and that's 5. So therefore, 55 over 66 is equal to 5 over 6. Now, how do you determine this number right here? How did, how did I know that in order to go from 66 to 6, I have to divide 66 by 11? Well, the tip is, divide 66 divided by 6 and that number will tell you the number that goes here. So if I take 66 divided by 6 I get 11. If and therefore I know what to divide my numerator by up here. So that's kind of a, a trick to find out what this number is going to be is you divide this number into this and that will give you that number. All right, let's look at a couple of the story problems. Let's look at number 69. It says, if there are three girls in a family with five children, then we say that three-fifths of the children are girls. So we would write that fraction as 3 over 5. So again, the bottom number represents how many pieces there are in the whole pie. In this case, how many kids are there in the whole family? In, in, in this problem there are five. So uh, five parts to the whole family. It says there are three girls in the family. So the top num number represents the part of the whole family. So we're looking at three, the part of the family um, that are girls. There are three. Three out of the five kids. If there are four girls in the family and there are five kids it's going to look like that, and that's what they're asking for. What fraction of the children are girls if there are four in a family with five children? Okay, so those are the kind of fractions and story problems they're going to be giving you in this section. Um, look at number 74. If you spend $623 on food, okay, so there's $623 on food, and your monthly income is two thousand five hundred and ninety-nine. 
The question is, what fraction of your monthly income do you spend on food? All right, so let's look at, at the whole. What is the whole? The whole is your monthly income, $25.99. So the whole always goes on the bottom. Your, your, your income is made up of $2,599. So you divide your whole, your income, into $2,599. That's how many dollars there are in the whole income. They're saying that out of that whole income, you spend 623 of the money you make, of those dollars, on food. So that's the part of the whole, 623. So the part always goes on top, and the um, number of pieces in the whole pie go on the bottom. In this case, your $2,599 is your whole income. Your 623 is what part of that whole income that you spend on, on food. Okay, so that should be it as far as problems for Section 2.1.